Yeah, what's going on YouTube? So, as per tradition, I start my videos on the weekend while we're hiking. This hike was a little bit more like an actual hike. We went up to the edge of a cliff. It's called Calvert Cliffs here in Maryland. It's a long way down. Do a flip! We got the, we got the rappel. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, I love to travel even when I'm in Maryland. Okay, I like to go outside, go on hikes, right? One of my other favorite things to do is travel internationally. So recently I've been having to go through a ton of headache trying to get my unofficial foreign travel approved. Karen and I are gonna be going on a trip to Jamaica next week. So I kinda wanna share a little bit of the headache that I've been going through because you guys plan to join the military, unfortunately, you're gonna have to go through this. So this is why international travel in the military sucks. So, unofficial foreign travel. I wish I didn't just turn in my packet that I needed to turn in because literally there's a full packet of requirements that you need to take care of before you go on your unofficial foreign travel. So, first of all, when I say unofficial foreign travel, it just means travel out of the country that isn't an appointment or a TDY. So, basically, like personal travel, you know, going to see family, going on vacation, etc. So, Karen and I are going to Jamaica next week. And the past few weeks, I've had to take care of things in this unofficial foreign travel packet. Now, much like the rest of the Air Force, because I'm in the Air Force personally, um, it all depends on where you're stationed. The requirements may differ a little bit, but for the most part, like the big things are, one, you have to be your IMR, your IMR has to be on point, which is basically like your medical record. You have to have all your vaccinations prior to going. You know, you have to have had your checkup. You have to be, basically you have to be green on your IMR. If you're in the military, you, you know what I mean. Two is you just have to get like approved by multiple people. First of all, you put your regular leave request into leave web. Your supervisor approves it. Then there's like that backup approver that approves it. But if it's overseas, your commander has to approve it. But before your commander approves it, you need your SSO approval, which is your security officer's approval. And before your security officer's approval, you need this full packet. So you need to take all these trainings and it's just like a ton of stuff you have to do before you're able to travel. Look at this beast of a burger, guys. By the way, 937 beef, as I mentioned in my last video, it's all about those choices. I'm still cutting, AKA trying to lose some weight and I'm able to kill some burgers like these. But yeah, all burgers aside, I hate everything that you have to go through when it comes to unofficial foreign travel, but the reason is very simple. You guys have heard other stories. You guys have heard my own stories about things that can happen when you go overseas. At the end of the day, the military invests money in, into you um, and they want your well-being. The military looks out for their people and they just wanna make sure they know exactly where you're gonna be, who you're gonna be with. Um, they wanna make sure that your health is good and all that stuff checks out before you leave the country. So it sucks that you have to go through everything, but it is necessary, okay? And uh, as mentioned, I am in the Air Force, so. It's a hassle for us. I'm assuming that it's the same for every other military branch, um, but I speak from experience <laughs> on my channel. All that being said, I'm gonna kill this burger. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like on it if you did. I'm about to go pick up some hair product. I'm gonna get a haircut tomorrow. I'm pretty much out of regs at this point. The next video you guys see from me is gonna be some footage from Jamaica. Um, now keep in mind, Karen and I are 
going to be on vacation. This isn't for business or anything like that. So this, the main point of this trip was to spend time with Karen, is to spend time with Karen, um, because she has been on deployment for the past seven months. So we're gonna do that. Hope you guys enjoy all the future content. More food content on the way. I'm gonna kill this burger. I'll leave you guys with a taste test. Mm. Damn, this is good.